Hi guys, I'm back once again. Happy New Year. Hope everyone had a lovely holiday. And I am back once again with another unboxing. I actually bought some books before this book outlet order that I have to show you. Some of them are previously from book outlet and some are from Barnes and Nobles, which I bought over the Christmas holiday. So, as you guys know, of course, there was a Boxing Day sale, and here is my order from Boxing Day. It's very huge. I thought my Black Friday order was big, but this is huge. This is so heavy. Um, I don't know how I'm going to lift up all these books at the end. I can just warn you now that I have a lot of books. Black Friday was nothing compared to this. So, here are my scissors. I'm going to go ahead and open this little bad boy and show you what I bought. So, the plan was not to buy any more books in this month. That plan didn't work out after Book Outlet um, extended their Boxing Day sale. So, of course, I had to buy some more books. And then, yesterday, they had to go and get a book that I really wanted in stock. So, of course, I had to make another order just for that book. So, let's get started with this unboxing. Um, of course, let's just get rid of this paper first. Oh, I see. It's, it's squashed in here, but... A little book out the bed. I finally got one, so I'm gonna participate in that um, hashtag that they have going on. So I'll do that after this video, of course. Let's let rest that there. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. There's no particular order to this, so I'm not gonna really go into what they're about since there's so many of them. So let's get started. So the first book I see here is um, Frost Fire by Amanda Hawking, I believe that's how you say her last name. So the first one is Frost Fire and I actually have the second book to this one of course, which is Ice Kissed. So, these ones I've actually did have my eye on for a while, but I never got round to ordering them. So I'm happy to have got these ones at last. So I can't wait to get to these. Oh, let me put them to the side. So this book that I see before me, Lux. I was not planning on getting this book because with the deal that um, Book Outlet had, the amount of books that I had in there should have sufficed to the discount that I was getting, but they gave me the lower discount to what I was meant to get, so I had to put this one in there to um, get the discount that I wanted. So this one was not really on my list of books to get so this is just a bonus book for me and I will have to see what this book is about so next I have a book that I saw on oh that book looks nice anyway the next book that I have is um love unscripted I saw this on someone else's channel and I can't remember who's so sorry about that it's by Tina Reba so um this one I saw on someone else's channel and they said it was a good read I believe this is the yeah this is the first book I think I have the second book I believe in here somewhere so I'll get round to show you that so love unscripted don't fall, don't fall. Let me move, move these scissors. Okay. This one is pretty looking. 
I didn't know it was gonna look like this. So, ooh, definitely. Oh, let me show you guys. So this is Ghost Girl Homecoming by Tonya Hurley. This is actually the second book. I have the first one in here. I did not know this book was gonna look like this. It is so pretty. Oh, let me see. Oh, look, it is. Let me see if you guys can see this. It is so cute on the inside. And this cover is so nice. So this is the second book. And the first book is right here called, of course, Ghost Girl. This is the first one. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, this is about a girl who um, is in, well, not entirely, she's not invisible, but she's invisible to people as they don't seem to notice her. But then she really does become invisible because she dies. I believe it's to do something about gummy bears and a boy. So I'm actually looking forward to reading this and this the pages are silver on the side. It is so cool and oh, this one doesn't even have any dots on it. I like it. Okay, so that's those two. Next, I don't know where to start in this box to show you guys. So next I have, ah, yes, I have all three books by this author. Oh, why are you so dusty on the back? Okay, so the first one is the statistical, statistical probability of love at first sight by Jennifer E. Smith. This one I saw, it's so thin, I thought it'd be a little thicker than this. So this is the first one I have by this author. I'm not I'm gonna lie, I have no idea what it's about, but this book sold out very quickly, so I was happy that I got it. And then the next one I have by her is, this is what happy looks like. Oh, this one's a little thicker, I like that. And then the third one I have by her is the geography of you and me. If you can see that, yeah. This looks like I'm heavy, so the geography of you and me. And then I have, um, what else do we have here? Oh, there's a little book in here. Ah, yes. This one is We All Looked Up. Um, it's about kids um, after high school who are deciding what they're going to do. But then, of course, something happens. An asteroid is heading towards their hometown. So all the plans that they had decided or hadn't decided, of course, have to be put on hold because of the asteroid that is headed towards them. I like this cover. It feels so, it feels nice and soft. Um, the next one I have is, ooh, nice. The next one I have is Break in Two by MJ Summers. Oh, this is a, this is a, this is in a series, which means I had to get the other one. I don't want to get that one, but okay. So this is Breaking Two, MJ Summers, and of course now it's looking that I have to get Breaking Love. I saw that one on Book Outlet, so I'm hoping it's still there. And then the other one is Don't Let Go. So hoping this is a does this mean this is the second book? I believe this is the second book. So I'm gonna have to get the first one. I think the first one is Breaking Love. Or is you or are you the last one? So I'm gonna have to look into that. Next I have oh, my invoice is all the way at the bottom. Next I have Salt and Storm by Kendall Cooper. 
I am sorry, but I'm butchering up your last names. So this is Salt and Storm. I have no idea what this book is about, but I've heard good things about this. So I am looking forward to reading it. Hopefully it is a good read. I, hopefully all these books that I have are a good read because I buy books and I get bound to them. I like them. So, I mean, all the books that I order, I I don't order books that I won't like, so that's a bonus. Now, I have another series in here. It is, oh, I don't know which one is first. Um, oh, never mind, it's on the side. So, this is the, I don't know what this series is called, but I'm going to go with, okay, it's an Immortal Beloved series. So the first one is Immortal Beloved. The second one is Darkness Falls. And the third one is Eternally Yours. This series is by... Kate Terranen. I'm really bad with these names. I'm sorry. So, this is in this series. Uh, you can look at the side here. These three books. I, um, I actually got these books for the covers. I definitely got that Homecoming Girl book for, <laughs> that, I mean, that Ghost Girl book for the cover. That was so cool, and I'm so happy I did. It looked so pretty. And so, yes. Is it these three? Oh, my pile is getting rather high. I don't want you to fall. I'm about to take you guys out of the box. But I, wait. Oh, I didn't know this book would be so small. Not the one I'm about to show you, but a different one. So the next books I have is another trilogy. They had all three books on that, but I didn't get the second one because it was in hardback and I wanted to keep with the um paperback so it's the birthmark trilogy by I am so bad but I'm not gonna pronounce that so birthmark trilogy the first one is birthmarks and then this is the last book called um promise I don't know what this book these books are about I'm sorry but I have actually been eyeing these books also for a while so I'm happy to have got them in this sale I forget how many books I ordered but it is a lot and this towel looks like it's about to lean over so the next books I thought they would be so much bigger but no so the next books I have is hmm, Love in Time of Global Warming and um, The Island of Excess Love. These I have actually, I've looked past these books so many times, I'm like, can I, should I get you, should I not get you? Boxing Day was a good day to get you. I was, but I'm surprised they're so short. I'm like, oh. Why? Why, why, why are you just so short? Let me look underneath the desk that kit and see what you look like. Mm, it's a regular, okay. I think it's it. But, yes. So I have these two. These two look like they'll be quickly to read. They're so short. I like long books. Oh, I need to move this box. I'm sorry, but this box is about to go on the floor. But my towel looks like it's about to lean over. Ah, so next I have why are you? I did not order no scratch and dent book, but why are you? <laughs> okay, the next book I have is Love Unrehearsed. Yes. This is the second book to the book that I showed you, Love Unscripted. So this is the second book. I'm hoping there's no third book to this because, yeah. So, Love. Love Unrehearsed. Next I have, 
series. It is by Gail Carriger. I'm sorry. The last name just really gets me. So the first one, I believe, which one is the first book? Okay. The first book is Etiquette and Espionage. And the second book is Curtsies and Conspiracies. The titles alone really intrigued me to get this. I actually was in Barnes and Nobles the other day and I saw these and I was like, should I get you? Should I not get you? Happy I didn't get you because now I got you for cheaper on Book Outlet. So yay me. Uh, this seems to be going on forever. So I have ooh, one more series in here. This time I actually got the hardcover to go along with this series. But I've heard a lot about this series and I was like, let me give this series a go. So this is the Lotus War series. So it is by Jay Kristoff. The first book is, I really like this cover, sorry. Is that a tattoo on her arm? That is so cool. Okay, so the first one is Storm Dancer. The second one, I use that one? The second one is Kin, Kin Slayer, and the first one is, did I say first one? I mean, the third one is End Singer. This is the hardcover one. Uh, I decided to get the hardcover one because I actually, I've seen this series on Book Outlet for a while and I'm like, the covers of what? what interest you me to get them so I'm like yeah, let me go and get this while I can and I've heard good things about it so I can't wait to read that one and then the last book in this box is The Merc and Midnight Hour by Jane Nickerson and I got this book I haven't read the other book that I have by her which is um Strands of Bronze and Gold but I have a feeling I'm gonna like it because the Strands of Bronze and Gold seemed like a good book that I really like the synopsis for that one so I'm hoping that this one is even though I haven't read it is as good as Strands of Bronze and Gold so I'm looking forward to this so now on to the books that I had bought before this Black Friday not Black Friday, this Boxing Day sale. I'll show you the one from Book Out with first. Where are you, Dee? Where are you, books? So this one is probably old to you guys, but new to me because I have not had the series yet. But this is the, the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. So I finally got it. I got... When I was ordering this, I swear they did not have the hard covers for all of them. But next thing I know, after they sold out of the paperback, they have the hard covers. And I'm like, eh, why? Why, why, why must you do this to me? So the first one is, of course, Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Second one is Days of Bullard and Starlight and the third one is Dreams of Gods and Monsters. This is a huge book. I am so happy you are so big because I really love big books. There's more for me to read. So good. Thank you. Sorry, my camera decided they wanted to cut out on me. So the last book I have from Book Outlet is Followed. Finally, I have the last book that I need for this series. I've had this the first two books for God knows how long now. So finally have hollowed and I can get round to reading it. Yay! 
Okay, so now we have the books that I got from Barnes and Nobles. You're like, how much money can this girl spend? I'm like, when your friend gives you a coupon from for Barnes and Nobles, you go, you go, and you spend money, and then you become broke. So the first one I have is Untamed, which is the companion piece to um, the Splintered series, which I'm on book two, and I love these series. I don't know why I haven't been. I'm like this much away from finishing book two. I'm like, get it to go, go, finish the book. So I just love this cover. I love all the covers for the Fli the Splintered series. I have finally, 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 finally this Shattered World because I have the first book uh, somewhere in my pile behind me and then the Fractured Light oh, I'm so pretty look at this pretty cover and this pretty cover but yes, yeah, so I finally have more to this series I don't think so but I finally have all the books that I need to start this series so that is a bonus for me and then finally I don't like the Barnes and Nobles I went to to buy this one though the dust jackets tore it and it looked like someone was like stretching open this book but whatever I finally have Ice Like Fire yes yes I'm actually reading Snow Like Ashes right now. Love the book so far. Yes. Well, let me tell you, I like this book so far. So I can't read. I can't wait to get round to the second one. Hopefully I finish it soon. I really don't like this tear and this dust jacket. I'm about to be like Bonds and Nobles. And I made sure I picked a good one. The first one that I picked up, I don't like that either. But apparently I didn't pick up a good one because there's a tear in this dust jacket. Now let's see if I can hold up these books for you. I don't think I can. I'll be like holding up three separate piles. <laughs> that's what I have right now. It's three separate piles. And it would have been good if these three separate piles were in. Oh. Hold on. Okay. So, <laughs> heavy. This is the first pile of all the lovely little books that I bought. Yeah, so I don't have a little helper here to help me hold these books. So that's the first pile. Ow, 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 ow. Struggles. First pile. Well, let me turn you around at least show the sides properly. Uh, first pile. Oh, no. Turn this way. No! <sighs> Hold on. Okay. Second pile. Oh, I can't tell you how many books I ordered. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I think it was at least altogether 30 something books. Yeah, no more books for me is what I said. But like I said, book out it had to come along with that cheekiness and show me a book that I really needed. And of course I couldn't say no because apparently I have no self-control when it comes to buying books. I don't know where this came from. But yeah, it's no self-control when it comes to buying books. And finally, the last pile of books that I have. Uh, all these books can now get added to my to be read jar that I have now created. Uh, yes. Okay. That heaviness is over. Yes. Okay, so that is my book haul for uh, the month of December. It was a busy month. So um, if you'd like to follow me on my Instagram account, because I'm more active there right now than I am on my YouTube channel. So you can follow me there. I'll put the link in the description. If you have read, in, read any of these books or are interested in any of these, 
interested in these books, let me know in the comments below because I like reading your comments. I like interacting. It makes me very happy. So yes, I'll put my Instagram below. You can comment below. You can tell me what you like, what you bought for Christmas yourself. And I will get back to you. So have a good day or night, wherever you guys may be. And I will see you next time. I'm not going to tell you when because I'm not going to say when because then it might not happen then. But there are two more orders on the way from Book Outlet. One should be getting here on 13th. And the other one is waiting to ship because I just bought that last night. Okay, goodbye.